from where I'm standing, all your focus is on her. Oh, take a walk. Morgan, no. Morgan's being real spicy. Mm. Focus on me. Fo fo focus on me. Hi, it's me, Kofi, and I'm back to do another TV show commentary of Criminal Minds. It is time to watch the season three finale, Lo-Fi, season three, episode 20. I love a finale of Criminal Minds. They're always giving me a good cliffhanger. Season two was a Fisher King with Elle, and then now this one, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know it goes into, I believe, season four, episode one, which is on the best Criminal Minds screen rant article list that I was following. So I'm excited to see what the story is here. As I'm watching from the beginning, I'm getting to know the BAU members more. I'm getting to be more endeared to some more than others. And I'm just, I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. I'm just like, ah. Of course, you can see the full commentary and reaction of this video over on my Patreon, along with others that I haven't been able to post on the YouTube for one reason or another. Revelations from season two, and then Seven Seconds, The Big Game, Elephant's Memory, perhaps from season three as well, along with many others that I've done. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and on Instagram and the Discord, of course. You can be in the know when we have the watch parties along with other Criminal Minds stuff and other stuff as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the season three, episode 20 commentary of Lo Fi. Oh Lord, he's up to no good. He's up to no good. Mm -mm. He has something in that backpack. Oh, I was wrong. He's just lost. I have trust issues. I would no, don't talk to me. I feel so bad. Oh my gosh, can I just shut my mouth? Can I just shut my mouth? <laughs> when my predictions are right, I feel good, but when they're wrong, I feel so bad. Oh my gosh, I thought he was unsub. And he was just a Taurus loss. Oh, ooh, ooh, rest in peace. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, tragic. Okay. You see, I'm letting my trust issues and my my um, cautiousness when dealing with strangers influence the way I feel about it. <laughs> okay, rest in peace, Taurus guy. I didn't mean to accuse you of being a, a, a vicious a criminal that the, that the BAU would have to take down. Oh, okay. Well, that's tragic. Now onto this guy that's just shooting random people. Shame on you. No, I'm going to come pick you up. This JJ with her own office. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't have you free to pick out a crib without and, me. And now she... Oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Last time, yeah, in the episode before, JJ revealed that she was pregnant, and then she's also dating that Southern guy from New Orleans when they went to New Orleans to help with that case of the um, woman unsub that was killing the people that... um you know, sexually assaulted other women. We, we stand up, we stand a woman unsub, okay? I feel like they never do anything wrong. They just have d had things done to them and they've just taken it out on the right people. So <laughs> when it's a woman unsub, I don't want them to, you know, you know, cat, all cat. But anyways, yeah, JJ's pregnant and then she's dating the guy from the New Orleans. I love that for JJ. I love that. I love that love. Is it just me or does she look exactly like Haley? Mmm, a former love. Okay. Oh, hot, uh, hot to smile. Have you been? Uh -oh. Well, thank you. Derek Morgan and Spencer Reed. Doctor. Spencer. Thanks for being here. Anything that you need, this just tell me. This little awkward high. I can't with Spencer. <laughs> what can you tell us about the city surveillance system? Um, it's run by the NYPD. Can I have a word with you in private? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> the VA. Um, liaised <laughs> when she was at Scotland Yard. Liaised. <laughs> of course. Oh, the team is so messy sometimes. So I wanted their own being. Doing stuff. <laughs> so you're getting resistance from NYPD? Mm. It's nothing I wasn't expecting. They're good detectives, just no self-respecting cop wants to have his ass kicked by some broad with a posh British accent. Mm. So what's going on? That's what I was getting. What can you tell me about Derek Morgan? Okay, because I was like, Morgan was like staring her down hard. I was like, what's going on with Morgan? Like, Prentice and Jay just made a little joke and then they moved on. But Morgan was like staring her down hard. So what is the connection between this lady and Morgan? Why is Morgan always wrapped up in something? Uh, is it a guy though? It looks like it could be a woman maybe. I'm so nervous. How is he doing it with all these people around? Okay, so now we have some tarot cards. He thinks he's like the master of death or something. Okay. From the placement of that camera, odds are the only view they're gonna get is the back of his head. Let's not be too quick to decide what we do or don't have. Hmm. 
<laughs> what is happening there? Ooh, the Duchess of Work has spoken. Ah. You mind telling me why I'm catching attitude from her? FBI brass has made it clear to her that if she doesn't bring this case home, she's going to be reassigned. I like how everyone in this episode is catching people, giving them attitude, and saying something about it. Like, first it was Reed with the New York cop, and then now it's Morgan. He caught that she was giving him a little attitude, and he's like, Hot, what's going on? But I also noticed there's a back tattoo on Morgan's back. I don't know if you guys saw that, but interesting, Morgan. So we think this guy's into spiritual garbage? Well, if he is, he certainly doesn't mean <laughs> tarot. Garbage. The death card doesn't actually signify physical death. This was the previous murder. He ran this time. Last time he walked, this one he ran. He sprints off in one and walks right. calmly in the other. Right. Two right. entirely different demeanors. Six right. kills in, his behavior should be set. Look at this. Uh, Garcia, are you still there? Is it different I people? You? Your calm walking type, he is about six foot one. Okay, yeah, because I was like, one of the people that were in the subway station looked like he might have a woman's frame. I don't know. I don't want to judge people's body types. But yeah, okay, so that's interesting. So it might be more than one person. And then I also noticed that in this one, he walked away. In the other one, he ran away. Um, or they ran away. So that's interesting. But I wonder if they ran away because that one was more open and more in public. This one was like isolated. But interesting, interesting. We've got more than one answer. Mm. A for group effort. <laughs> Position us near express stops 14th, 42nd, 59th. It's not your call. <sighs> You're not in charge yet, Morgan. I'd like to join you in the profile if that's more stepping on your toes. No problem. Wow, Hotch, so much for BAU loyalty. Mm. See you again. <laughs> I love Princess. Princess be catching on to everything, but she's like, I'm not gonna say anything. Not my business, not my business. JJ. What? Why would he come? Look at Princess. Yeah. Princess got that too. Princess got that too. Hey, took a shot and flew to DC, but it didn't work. I figured a train ride in New York was only a few more hours. Detective? And I'm sorry for showing up like I can I can I can, I can barely understand what he's saying. But we love the southern draw. <laughs> but why would he show up on uh, JJ's case? Mr. New Orleans. Ah, Princess and the Frog. Love that movie. <laughs> Is there a problem? She's pregnant. Don't say it. She might not want them to know yet. Don't say it. Why are you forcing her to say it? I'm pregnant. Congratulations. Oh my god, JJ. Congratulations. Congratulations. I've asked JJ to marry me. Will. Why? We're working out some kinks. We'll uh, give you both some privacy. <laughs> I shouldn't even say congratulations to anything. How does that have to be like that? <laughs> JJ, you could have told me. Oh, oh. I know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I judged too soon. Hotch is so hard to figure out sometimes. I can't tell if he's just a stoic, stern man who doesn't care about anything except the work. But then he shows these little moments of levity where he actually shows like he cares about the VAU. He jokes sometimes. Okay. Hodge is like, oh, you should have told me. Oh, we love that. Hodge is such a great leader. I really like Hodge. Well, I don't like that the guy came here and it's kind of like forcing JJ. I guess he, he didn't force her, but he kind of like, by him coming and like saying what he said, he kind of like pressured JJ into revealing it before she's ready. I don't really like that. Let's give women their autonomy to make, say things in the workplace when they're ready. Uh, okay, but okay. Your job is too dangerous now. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yours. What are you, mm -hmm. you going to give let me let it play out before I get mad. <laughs> Up your shield. Look, I love the gesture and I love the romance, but we're both gonna be parents, Will. <laughs> Neither one of us has, you know, exactly a typical job. Look, the first thing a cop does when she gets pregnant is she takes herself out of the field. Okay, I'm not gonna get mad because <laughs> I, I do like them together, but it's just always so frustrating to me to see that anytime a woman gets pregnant or the, their partner always tries to like pull them back from whatever they're doing and try to stop their like ambitions or whatever. It's like you knew you knew what job I had before you impregnated me. You knew what job I had going into this relationship. Why do you think all of a sudden because I'm going to be a mother or I'm pregnant that I'm going to take myself out of the job? Like you know what I mean? And she's probably like what one month, two months pregnant, so she could at least work for another five more months or so before she has to you know go on maternity leave. But it's just so frustrating to me, like. <sighs> Okay. Well, if she's understanding and is okay, I'm okay. But it's just like, come on. Like, you, you knew me before we had we were going to have this baby. Like, stop trying to switch up on me now. Like, that's so annoying to me. It's it's giving me flashbacks to Owen and Christina from Grey's Anatomy when he was being the worst to her when she had she was pregnant. Oh, 
how do we, we don't have to get to that here, but okay. All right. <laughs> Got eyes on one of them. He's on the subway platform at 59th and Lex. 59th? We could have been right there. Mm. He's got a gun. Dad. Oh my God. Dad. He shot her. Dad. Hell of the police. You see. This is Kate joining with the FBI. We have Kate. a murder suspect. Subway platform. Fifty nine. He's going to be gone. He's getting away. Garcia, can you get eyes on him above ground? I know. He's heading west on Fifty Ninth Street. If he makes it to the park, we've lost him. We've lost the visual. They're gone. I know the Morgan is so seat. pissed. Negative. I know this isn't an I told you so type of job, but if I was working out like, Kate. We could have had that guy. Oh. Mm. I said to put us at express stops, mm. 14th, 42nd, 59th, and that's exactly it's where they not hit. not your place to have this discussion. My place. place. You need to back off. Ooh. We got seven bodies, man. Which is exactly why we need to stay focused. Mm. Focused. From where I'm standing, all your focus is on her. Ooh. Take a walk. Morgan. Now. Morgan's being real spicy. Mm. Focus on me. Fo fo focus on me. Hash, 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 hash. I don't like when the VAU is at odds, but sometimes it needs to happen for the growth of the team because Hotch is he is very by the books. He's trying to um follow the hierarchy that is or the what's it called? The yeah, like hierarchy that's set in place. Like right now it's Kate's lead or whatever. It he is here on her request or whatever. All he, all she wants them to do is profile. But when you're right, you're right. And I feel like the only reason she didn't listen to Morgan's advice to go to 59th and the other express stops is because she has that like ego about her possibly losing her job. So she let that interfere with what is best for the case. And that's why Morgan's probably so pissed right now. And then instead of Hodge siding with Morgan and be like, you know, he was right. We need to look at this a different way. He's still sticking by this lady. Possible love interest from the past, but we don't have to get into that. Oh, I'm being messy. I'm being messy. Ooh. Let me keep professional. Let me keep professional. <laughs> but, ooh, ooh, I, I get it, Morgan. I get it. I get it. I really do. Mm. Mm. Meanwhile, I know Prentice is just somewhere around there. Like, <laughs> I love Prentice. I was out of line. Mm. You get too emotionally involved sometimes. People are dying. I just felt like Hotch was taking her side. There are no sides here. I felt like it. About before. You spoke your mind. I respect that. Whatever. JJ Reed and Prentice went to the crime scene. <laughs> Whatever, <with> girl. <laughs> this is the first time they've killed two days in a row. They're speeding up. Oh, no. How does no one see this? How does no one see this? Oh, my gosh. Garcia. I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, 16th and Broadway. He's running east on 16th. He's headed our way. Right there. Gotcha. 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 Imagine being in the city when you just see FBI agents running. Y'all are real slow. Oh, you. What in the world? Damn it. If he's dead, he can't tell them anything. Crap. Okay, go back and help the other guy. Oh no. Garcia! Oh, the tension, the tension. Okay, this is going to have to carry into the next episode because it's only like six minutes left. <sighs> the tension of it being in the city, you don't know where the princess, the shooter's coming from. Ah! <laughs> okay. What does that usually equal? Terrorism. Terrorism. It's a. Uh... Oh, it's like a classroom full of them crazy but it's ingenious they get a practice run and if someone catches the shooter they think they just have a murderer the cell isn't compromised it's lo-fi smartest way to plan for a terrorist event the episode is over and we did not solve the case it's like 30 of them the episode is over no and jj congratulations okay i was waiting for the congratulations because he didn't say it earlier i was like damn hot Oh, I don't like how the BAU is just on the streets by themselves. Cry baby. Wah, wah. My wife doesn't want to come home with me. <laughs> okay, how are they ending this right now? Someone about to get shot. Morgan? Ooh, I'm... Drive by? Oh no, what is going on? Why are they doing the split screen? Someone is about to get got. 
my feet. This car, this car, this car, this car. Wait. Go back right now. Go back, you dirty, 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 dirty. There's Penelope, there's uh, Princess, Rossi, JJ. He didn't get into the car. Morgan, Reed. You don't know who it was. <laughs> oh. <sighs> you know something? Anytime I watch these season finales, I it always occurs to me that for people that watch the show in real time, I think this came this season was what like 2005, 2006. They had to wait months months on end to see what BAU member might not survive or would die. Ugh. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. Thank God I'm watching this show now or I can just literally click the next episode and sue and see who it was. But oh my gosh, I cannot imagine having to wait so long. Ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we're going into the the, the, now we're going into the next episode to figure out who it was that got got from the BAU. Lord have mercy. <laughs> what a freaking case. What a cliffhanger. What a unsub or unsubs, I should say. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to think. <sighs> Season four, episode one, Mayhem. I'm looking at the screen grab right now. I see Hotch in distress behind a burning car or burning something. So he might have been the one that was in the explosion. So, okay, well, thanks for ruining that screen grab. But besides that, let's go ahead and get started with this TV show commentary right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. But they really built that up nice. The way they ended that last episode with everyone getting into the same type of car and then one of those cars exploding. Okay, Hotch is good. Hotch is good. Check mark. Oh, just good. Oh, Lord. It had to be the SSA Kate lady. Damn. Cause, because Hotch walked out with her uh, from the FBI or the NYPD office, so it has to be her. Rest in peace. But they built that up real nice. Oh, my gosh. What's your name? What? What's your name? Call 911. Yeah, yeah, good. Call 911, tell them there's been an explosion. Sir, are you okay? <gasps> you a cop? Oh. Jeez Louise. Why is there no one here? Like, someone. Oh. What happened? I don't, I don't like seeing Hodge in distress. An IUD. I think it was an IUD. I don't like seeing Hodge in distress because he's always so calm, off. always. No, no, no. And like level headed, I don't like seeing Hotch in distress. I'm my legs. Oh my gosh. It doesn't hurt. Oh, she's a goner. It doesn't hurt at all. She's a goner. If it doesn't hurt anymore. You didn't get your hurt. They're coming, they're coming. Officer down! What are they doing? Why are they stopping right there? Officer down! I told them not to. Remember? So how does this work? The murderers simulate a bombing. And there they station someone to- Wait a second, what is happening? When did they talk about this? Are they trying to bait them in? But why would they risk her dying to do that? Whose plan was this? Reed. <laughs> Reed, what plan are you working, concocting in this moment that's stressing me out like this? Oh my gosh, this episode. <laughs> come to minds, come to minds. Okay, 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 come, come on, come on. Be level-headed like Hosh usually is. But yeah, I don't need any more hot stress for the rest of the time of me watching the show. He's one of my faves, and he's always level-headed and cool, calm, collected. And if he's in distress, then the rest of the BAU is going to be in distress, and I'm going to be in distress, and it's not going to be good for anybody, okay? Okay. Okay. ESU orders are not to let anyone in until the area is clear. That's so ridiculous. She's not going to make it. They can't bring some medical supplies to her. It's a proper procedure. Oh, screw procedure. Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. They're right there. This is Agent Jero, communications director for the- Message? What was that, what happened? Message. It went dead mid-message. Try her again, she's probably back at- Emily? Who is playing with the phones? Dear. Oh my gosh, Dear. what is going on? This cult is- left off contact This with gang my is getting on my nerves. Never enough Keep, Garcia, it together, Keep it together, Garcia. Keep it together. found the explosion. Have you seen Hotch or Kate? No, I was hoping you did. Have you seen any of my team? Oh, JJ. Sorry, I... 
All right, well, we must be setting up a critical incident command center, right? Uh, I didn't realize that, JJ. It took me a second to process. I'm still like in this okay, sta state of machine, shock. That's where I'll be. Okay. Got him. We need another angle. He stopped. Did he go into the Sam, FBI you need to get out of the area. I just want to help. If you want to help, get somebody down here. Like, I can't, why can't he go get some hey, medical hey, equipment and come down. back? Stay with me. Oh my gosh, Stay this is me. ridiculous. Stay with me, she's bleeding. Oh. She's bleeding. On, yes, we know that. <laughs> Not gonna die, is she? I hate when the civilians are so useless. Like, stop asking stupid questions. We're here, please! I don't understand why they can't break procedure, please, like... Agent. Please, what the here. hell? Like, hey, the air is restricted. get out of my face. Get out of my face. That's my boss down there. My orders are what they are. I don't give a damn what- Oh my gosh, I'm getting so- I'm getting so hot just like Morgan. First off, when Morgan came up to him and showed him that he was FBI, the guys didn't even turn to look at him like, how more disrespectful can you get? Like, excuse me? And then like, these people and orders, orders, orders. I get it. I get the hierarchy of things. I get following orders. But can we be human for two seconds? There's someone over there that's about to die. And you guys are like, oh, I have orders to stay right here, so I'm not going to go in. <sighs> I can't with people sometimes. Never leave a man behind. You do remember that, don't you? I do. I do. Just take some medical equipment with you. Is Morgan going to get shot? Okay. <laughs> I was like, damn it, Morgan, at least take some medical equipment with you to help. Some gauze or something. Band-aids. <laughs> I think she needs more than band-aids, but stuff. It wasn't him. That's the answer. <gasps> And he's walking right up to Hutch. You mother. Hutch. You we gotta dirty. Get out of here. This guy, the freaking person I called a civilian that was asking all these stupid questions, knowing damn well he's the one that caused this situation. <sighs> okay, go calm down. <laughs> I can't. Uh, go. Go, Sam. Good luck. Good luck. Good Don't luck. And he's going the other way. Give a carrier? He's going the other way. He's not going Hutch, towards the carrier? police no, officers. I tried, Morgan. She's gonna bleed He's to still death. there. We gotta get her out of here. We gotta do something. Please have service. Please have service. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Get him. You're absolutely sure. Just get him. Ooh. Hodge. The kid. <laughs> He's the bomb. Look at him, Mr. Go. Damn. Hi. They're baiting you. They're baiting you. Damn. Hodge couldn't even stomach to turn around and look at him. You know, you know, Hodge is usually like, oh, who is it? I'm gonna get him. Like, blah, blah, blah. Hosh just put his head down, like, just deal with them, Morgan. Like, I'm I'm defeated right now. I just have to focus on this uh, Kate right now. Damn. Morgan could have acted like maybe he didn't realize it was him. So maybe he could, like, I don't know, get him a different way, but whatever. Now Morgan's going to chase him. Hopefully Morgan doesn't get shot. Oh. I can't. There's a lot happening right now. My mind can only process so many things at once. Okay. <sighs> These us be moving. <laughs> These unsells, uh, they be practicing for this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the music be scaring me sometimes. <laughs> She's got an arterial okay. bleed in her back, and I'm doing my best to hold it closed. You okay? I just want to get her out of here. Her pulse is weak and thready. I'm going to need your help, okay? They see an unsub too. Now I don't trust anyone. Is the area clear? You were calling for help, and I couldn't listen anymore. My partner was too afraid to come in here with me. Hmm. Okay, we're going to get you out of here. Because he came from the other side, not through the police barricade. I don't trust anyone anymore. It's too quiet. It's too quiet right now. It's too quiet. Smart to close the door behind you, so if he was behind you, he wouldn't. He would have to open the door. You would hear him behind you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I could never do this job. This is too much. Too much. Too much stress. Is he at the end of the train? Are they s Oh, I'm not going in there. Uh-uh, no. Not only are there rats, but then there's also killer people. A killer a killer gang. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. This is where I stop. <laughs> you will lose in the end. Shut up, shut your mouth. You wanna know why? Because you fear what we embrace. Get off the road! Go, go, go! Ugh. Is that what they mean when they say the train tracks are <laughs> running electricity through them? Ooh. Is it because you're afraid of what we embrace? And what is that? I can't.
It's four blocks uptown, one block east. Where's the emergency entrance? Under the hospital. Just follow the I don't signs trust this ER. paramedic. Hey. Oh, that. no. I knew it. Just from that high alone, I know he's suspect. But I... I did not trust this paramedic. I was like, he came in from the back. He didn't come through the police barricade. He was by himself. It just seemed very weird because, damn it, the way he just said, hey, look who's back. Uh, he's he's another one. He's another one. This cult or whatever they are, they are very sophisticated. And we knew that from the last episode, too. We knew that they're very sophisticated, very like um focused or whatever. But like, Hosh can't catch on to this because he's just in distress of losing, losing his friend. He couldn't. Realized a civilian guy was in on it. He didn't realize that this guy was in on it. Like, I'm always so frustrated when like the BAU that isn't in the field realizes something before the people that are in the field do. Because it's like, okay, Prentice and the rest of the gang figured it out that this guy isn't is shifty or whatever. But there's no way for them to communicate that to Hotch in this current moment because like the phones are down or whatever. Same thing that happened in Revelations when they knew that Tobias was the unsub, but Reed and Jada didn't know, and then. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm SSA Hotchner. I have SSA Joyner on board. She was injured in the bomb blast at Federal Plaza. Credentials. Credentials? They're in my jacket at Federal Plaza. I appreciate that, Agent, but this hospital is on a strict bypass. You've got to be freaking kidding me. It means the hospital is closed. Please. I'm losing her! This is, Open this is not, what is, this is Delta 2, we need immediate ER are they, is there a bomb in this ambulance or something? Are they going to try, like, what is happening right now? Because... I don't think, I think this paramedic is shifty. He's trying to get this car or something into the hospital. Like what? I don't, 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 I don't. This is the first time I've been so like, I don't even know. I can't keep up right now. I can't. It's the episode is called Mayhem. That's what it feels like. It's very chaotic. Okay. Maybe the paramedic isn't a bad guy. I, I can't trust anyone. I don't know what's happening. Can we get hot some water, some electrolytes, some saline? Looks like he's about to pass out. Down he goes. Ah. Down he goes. Ah. Hot is down bad. He's a goner. He's gone. Damn it, Hotch. Hotch, Hotch, come on. Agent Hotchner, lie down. Doctor, I'm all right. Hotch, stop it. Just calm down. <laughs> Doc, I got it. Morgan, where's, where's Kate? She's in surgery. Where are my clothes, please? <laughs> Hotch, your go bag is on its Seeing way. Hotch in the hospital gown is kind of funny to me, but... Has anything happened since the first blast? <laughs> Nothing. This... Sam, he's dead. Morgan, the profile's wrong. Mm. Well, if he didn't have a secondary device to detonate, oh. there's only one reason that he's staying with us. Make sure the ambulance got to you. Secret Service has a bypass on this hospital. Secret Service? Who are they protecting? Yeah. Was calling. Yeah, I was like, those those Secret Service people were a little shifty, too. I was like, what are you talking about? This hospital's closed. And then, yeah, I was like, why is Secret Service here? Like, huh. And the paramedic, everything is just, everyone in this episode that isn't the BAU is, is, is shifty to me. Like, I can't trust anyone. This is a real organized event right now, a real organi organized attack, and it's stressing me out. This hospital is their target. Knew it. Let's go. That freaking paramedic and that ambulance. You. Oh, he's the bomb maker. He's a good actor, because he was acting. <laughs> Who would do that? Why would you want to blow up a hospital? Are the worst. Everything they've done up until this point was just to get to this. That is so crazy to me. Oh. A bad representation of bald people everywhere. I am ashamed of you, sir. <laughs> Look, he's coming back. He's gonna detonate the bomb manually if he has to. Where did Morgan go? He went to find the ambulance. Alone? Let's head down. Oh, Morgan. Call Air Charlie 1, move Echo 1 to the roof as soon as he's out of surgery. Air vac him out of here. The rest of us will take the elevators. Who was here? They didn't even tell us who it was. Was it the president or? Oh, this is New York. It could be like the mayor or something. But damn, it's so secret they couldn't even tell us who it was. So this is an assassination attempt. That means Morgan? this thing has been in the works for ages. Yeah, baby. You sound stressed. Just a little bit. Do I? <laughs> Where are you? 
Not where I want to be right now. Was that all the Secret Service people? Ooh. Come on, Reed. Look at Reed's hair flowing in the wind. <laughs> He's going to the basement. Uh, Stairs. Come on. Damn it, the paramedic guy's about to show back up again. Garcia. He's not going to hesitate to shoot. Listen to me. I need you to find an area of town I can drive this thing, and you tell everybody, you hear me, everybody, that I'm coming. Come on, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just talk to me. Damn it. No, no, Sucker. No. Ah ha. Ah ha. Loser. Loser. No. Ah ha. Get him. Get him. Morgan's gonna have to drive it into the water or something. Captain America style. <laughs> drive it into the freaking. I forgot what he did. Did he drive it into the ice yet? Reed has uh, gone locked and loaded. We've come a long way from LDSK season one. Reed is not playing. Damn. If you just shoot him right now, he won't be able to press the button. Shut up. You don't have much time. Please be smart about this. Oh. Signal's coming back online. Wow. 30 seconds to full coverage. Dare drive to the opening and then get the hell out. There's something I really want you to know. No, we don't need this. We don't out. need this. No, no, no. I'm not quite there yet. 10. Morgan. Just listen to me. 9. Morgan, please. 8. You know what you are, Garcia? Just lost track. And Damn it. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Derek? You're done for. He's going to kill himself. FBI. He's going to kill himself. He's done. He's gone. Put it down. He's gone. It's over. Done. We're never gonna know who was behind this attack. That is so frustrating. Damn it. I wish they had just shot him at least to wound him or something. <sighs> I knew he had gotten out. Oh, Morgan. Captain Morgan. Garcia. The first BAE. <laughs> I'll tell you what you are to me. <sighs> You're my God-given solace. <sighs> the city is saved. The city is saved. Okay. Where's the surgeon? <laughs> we did all that we could. Damn it. That's all you got to say? We did all we could? I'm sorry. It's ain't no great slow memorial. At least some though kind of console you a little bit. Damn. <laughs> okay. Your actions? As incredibly brave as they were, T. But still the actions of an agent who doesn't truly really trust anyone. Hotch, I did it for this team. Mm. He. My opinion doesn't matter. Job's yours if you want it. Hotch. But he wants your respect. Your opinion matters to me. Right. My life matters to me, and I have and always will entrust you with it. Would you do the same for me? When I tell you what I just watched was must watch TV, it felt almost like a movie between the last episode and this episode. Woo! Mind blown. Oh my gosh. This episode definitely deserves to be on the best current minds episode list thing. And then in conjunction with the last one all together, it was, a, it was an event. We still don't know what person the secret service was protecting at the hospital. We don't know who the cult or the people were, like, we don't even know. We don't, we saved the day, this day, but we still, they're still, <laughs> like, we won, or the BAU won, but they didn't, they did. Ah, what in the world? Are these people gonna come back later? Or is this, is this going to be an ongoing storyline for season four? What have I gotten into? Morgan might be going to the New York division. Hotch is, Going to be mourning the loss of his friend. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. As always, as always, as always, when it comes to Corner Minds. What a way to start season four. What a way to end season three. I need to take a breath. Okay. It's another best Corner Minds episode from season four, season four, episode three. So I'll be back to do that one very, very soon. 
I'm not going to be able to catch my breath with this damn show. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this Criminal Minds commentary. Of course, you can see the full commentary for both this one and the last episode. This is 3 episode 20 over on my Patreon. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And join the Discord so you know when we're having watch parties for season 4 and beyond. But until next time, be very, very well. And goodbye.